Hey everyone, back to into today's video. We're going to have a look at the weather next uh, week's 10 days. In today's video, um, we're going to be seeing the Atlantic returning from the weekend, I think, and it'll be turning milder uh, through to next week. Well, there could be a little cold snap again early next week, but the overall theme is that we're going to be quite cold for this week, and we're going to see the Atlantic coming back from the weekend and into next week. Now, there could be some snow um, on Wednesday and Thursday. It's a very difficult one to pin down, but the latest idea from the GFS is bring quite a bit of snow into parts of Northern England, the Midlands and Wales. I'll probably update Snow Watch this evening um, about that. I'm not going to have time for this particular update focusing on the next week's 10 days, but... Uh, yeah, check that scene into Snow Watch. It could get quite interesting um, around Wednesday night and into Thursday morning across some central parts of the country, particularly. But uh, we already get on with today's video just to say about the ads. There's links to articles on all the pages. That's why please have a browse through widgets and click through the links if there's any articles that you're interested in. Thanks very much for doing that. So, uh, well, these are the 500 bit of our high zombies for the next week, 10 days. Just setting the scene, really, for uh, what we've got coming up for the coming week, 10 days. We've got the ECDF here on the top and the GFS is on the bottom. 500 bit of ours, 80 plus beat is very high pressure, low pressure being moved around by a jet stream running above. So the ECDF is placing quite a big trough of low pressure to the north of the country in the next week to 10 days. This takes up to around the 25th of February, so into the last week of the month. Quite a big uh, trough of low pressure to the north. And they've got this ridging out in the Atlantic and also sitting to the uh, northeast of the country. So the jet stream is coming through rather like that. Uh, we're almost on the cold side of the jet there, but it's very unsettled with that deep area of low pressure bringing bands of rain across the country. I think it will be turning uh, more unsettled as we get through into next week. The uh, GFS is very similar, although it's a little bit stronger with ridging down to the south of the country. It's trough up to the north. is isn't quite as deep. Nevertheless, the jet stream still more or less coming through the country rather like that. So uh, still uh, basically westerly, I think, as we're going through to the uh, 7 to 10 day time frame, which uh, of course takes into next week. It's basically next week's weather that we're talking about. Um, quite unsettled with bands of rain moving through and the air is coming back off the Atlantic, so temperature should be lifting up. We can see this quite clearly on the GFS temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. The red weeks, the red line here, it's a 30-year temperature average. So uh, for the rest of this week, we're going to be generally below average. Um, we do tick up a little bit around Wednesday and Thursday. That's as this weather system's coming in across the country I was talking about at the start of the video. We bring the weather system in across the country Wednesday and Thursday. Um, it's got quite a big warm set to with it. So this is the complication because um, it's going to be bringing rain initially. But as this front stalls across England and Wales, because it's coming up against a wedge of cold air, it could turn uh, to snow. So I'll be updated about that this evening anyway. But the general idea is that for the rest of this week, we're cooler than average. We get into the weekend then, we get this big tick up in the temperatures then, um, really lifting up the temperatures over the weekend, really quite balmy conditions, I think, Saturday and Sunday. Temperature could be up to the mid-teens Celsius and maybe a little taste of spring. But after that, um, we drop down a little bit again as we go through to the start of next week. So definitely a changeable period coming up. But overall, I think next week's temperatures generally a little bit above average. You'd expect that with the winds going back into the west. In terms of the rainfall, well, these are the precipitation spikes associated with the chance of rain and snow Wednesday, Thursday. After that, um, just generally bring bands of rain through across the country. Nothing uh, exceptionally wet, really, but there's regular bands of rain moving through the country. And, of course, we're in a north, uh, west, southeast type split. So the southeast is driest and north and west is wettest. Um, and this is the ensemble for London. So, uh, actually, the north and west would be wetter than this uh, next week on this westerly pattern that we've got setting up. Temperature anomalies for the coming week, going from the 15th, 23rd of February. Generally, still a bit colder than average. It's going to be quite a cold week coming up uh, this week. But these will warm up, I think, over the next few days as they increasingly come into the time frame of next week, I've, and the weekend and into next week. We will see these turning increasingly uh, red. Notice a very mild week coming across the most eastern parts of Europe. Um, precipitation anomaly for the coming week shows that we're a bit wetter than average in the north and the west of the country for the coming uh, week, drier across France. Generally, the rainfall is still a bit above average. Over precipitation, obviously, still a bit above average uh, for the coming week. 
So uh, these are the generic charts. Friday will still be quite cold. This is the GFS. And um, still quite cold on Friday. And we may still have some snow on the ground. If this snow event does come off uh, Wednesday night into Thursday, it's not um, beyond the realm of possibility that we might still have some snow on the ground as we go through into Friday. But after that, we get a push from the Atlantic. So this is how Saturday is looking, bringing in these uh, much milder southwest winds. There'll be a band of rain coming in with that as well. Um, so any so will very quickly go by the weekend. Uh, and in front of the ice bars map, the air is originating probably from somewhere around the Azores. So we're bringing up another very mild push of air, as I said, over the weekend. This is how Sunday is looking. Um, could be wet and windy in the north and west. There's quite an active cold front swinging in here across Scotland and Northern Ireland. But England and Wales remaining within this warm envelope of, of there. So very mild down there. Temperatures not um, not uh, certainly um, cold in the north and west, even behind that cold front. Uh, it will be turning a bit cooler up there. But even there, it's still generally quite mild. But down in the south, we could be seeing temperatures around 15 or 16 degrees. So into the mid-teens Celsius and... Maybe a little taste of spring. Uh, as we go through the start of next week, that's where bringing these westerlies across the country. So it's a bit cooler on um, Monday, but the general idea is generally through next week to be bringing the area in off the Atlantic. Bands of rain in the north and west, particularly England and Wales, probably getting quite a bit of dry weather. This is how the chart is looking for day 10, and we're still basically in this uh, westerly flow, which should be generally on the mild side. Um, although a little bit cool, as I say, for the start of next week. The EWF again, very westerly uh, through the weekend. We start off quite cold on Friday, but we go through into Saturday and Sunday, bringing in these westerly winds, very mild down in the south, a little bit cooler up in the north. We go through the start of next week, um, and it turns cooler across all parts of the country, but it's still generally westerly flow driving in off the Atlantic. And then we go through in the middle part of next week, probably bringing another band of rain through the country, with those westerly northwesterly winds, and then we try to build a little bit of high pressure down to the south on day 10, which is Thursday, the 25th of February. That's within slightly cooler air as well, but you see the general flow is still off the Atlantic, it is still westerly even then. So we are looking at a more westerly phase from the weekend and into next week with some bands of rain and the temperatures starting to lift up as well. Uh, as I say, um, we've got concerns about Wednesday and Thursday, but chance of some snow across the country. I think it'll be rain mainly through Wednesday daylight hours, but increasingly on Wednesday night, we might see this turning to snow. Uh, this is the precipitation type forecast, 6 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, showing the potential for a lot of snow here across northern England, Wales and Midlands. It come down to some central southern parts of England. Notice the southeast is still mainly rain. But uh, certainly through the central parts of the country, northern England, Wales and Midlands, central southern England, there is a risk of some really quite heavy snow on Wednesday night and into Thursday. It's a very complicated one. Um, and I'll be updating Snow Watch with much more detail about this uh, this evening after the midday. Well, I'm going to wait for the midday GFS to uh, appear and then I'll update Snow Watch this evening with more in-depth look at that. But um, that could be the biggest snow event if it comes off. It could be the biggest snow event that we've had probably since the winter of 2012-2013. So it could be quite a significant one, but the question is, will it uh, come off? We'll have to wait and see. But in terms of the weekend weather and into next week, the West is after this risk of snow will be returning. It turns very mild over the weekend and will stay generally uh, westerly into next week as well. That's how it's looking then. Uh, come back this evening for snow. Watch also have Terry's um, month head forecast. Uh, that'll be around 5 o'clock this evening, going from the middle of uh, this month, today, 15th of February, to the 15th of March. So come back for that uh, this evening. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.